go. Ooh, that got him fired up. There's a lot of bees right here, guys. I don't know if you can hear them fanning. They're fanning like crazy, and here's the deal. I do have my suit on. I'm sure they'd be stinging me some, but their aggressiveness has greatly decreased since we snapped them into the swarm mode. Look at all these bees right here. The box is really overcrowded. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this from a mean hive video into a, what I'm gonna call a modified tearing off uh, split. So we got the bees down here. I shook some that were on the bottom of this inner cover in front of it here, and they're starting to climb up. The bees will like to climb up. I'm gonna put a frame of brood in here, and then these other frames of foundation, some of them. And we're just gonna make a little split into this seven frame. I'll leave the queen cells in there. There's just a couple of viable ones that I could see. I'll leave them in there and uh, shake all the bees right here. It'll take a while, but they'll all go up supposedly, hopefully and go in this new box right here. So I've in essence created a swarm and, um, and we'll take them away. Hopefully they'll grow and then they'll, these, uh, one of these two queens that hatches out will make a nice hive here and we'll have some good bees. So I'm just gonna shake them all right here and we're just gonna wait a while and see if it works. I've seen videos on it. This isn't a true tearing off split, but it's gonna be kind of similar. So it's just kind of my variation here. I don't see why it won't work and we'll give it a shot. Here we go, ready? The queen will be in these bees and uh, she won't know to go back to the box. So I'm gonna put that, that's a beautiful frame of breed. I'm just gonna put it in there. Hope it'll draw them in. Yeah, they're getting feisty now, for real. Be careful with this one's got that queen silence, so I don't want to be too rough with it. I think they're going to get mad. You would expect it, I guess. There's the queen cell. Smoking a little bit. I'll be quick with this. Interesting about one thing that's interesting about bees is they tend to go up, so that's one reason I got the platform there. There's that other queen cell right there. So we got both our queen cells right here. Hopefully, one of them will be a nice, viable queen, and if not, there'll be some eggs in here that they can make a new one out of if they need to. I got one inside my veil that's crawling around in my head. I'm sure I'm gonna get nailed here in a minute. Right behind my ear, possibly. Now it is on my ear. I don't know how they're getting in here. Now, in theory, the ones that would be going to swarm anyway, stay with the queen and going up into that box. The foragers and the rest of them, Go back into the old box. So I hope that works. Let me just put another frame of brood in there. I don't think they normally put brood in there, but I'm gonna do it just to give them a head start. Plus that'll leave, give these bees I'll leave behind a couple of empty frames to build on. Boy, they are running up that thing. It's kind of cool. Might just work like I hoped for. Okay, now what I need to do, they are crawling all up on this honey super. I'm just gonna set it like this, probably not the best plan. But we're gonna take this box right here, dump the bees out. I got them fired up. There's a lot of bees right here, guys. Tons of bees. I'm talking about lots of bees. Healthy hive, though. And uh, I've been stung a time or two, but it hasn't been too bad. 
not as bad as I thought I was going to be. I think I'm just going to give this box a good shake if I can figure out how to do it. I don't want to pull all those frames out though, really to be honest. Maybe I will. Here we go. There we go. Ooh, I got mad now. Okay. That queen, she's got to be in over there. Plenty of bees for a nice new hive. We got them collecting here. I wonder if the queen might happen to be in here. So I'm just going to do this. And what I'm going to do, put those frames of brood back in there with queen cells, back in this original hive right here. Replace the ones that I put in here with the foundation. And uh, so I have a place to build. Just going to leave them alone a while. See if they can hatch out a new queen. I'm actually going to go ahead and bump some more of these off in front. There we go. Now, technically you're supposed to shake all the bees off. But since there's a queen excluder and there were eggs in that bottom box, there should not be any um, chance of the queens up in this top box. I'll put these back in here. Especially put this hive back together. Hope I didn't destroy the queen cells. Looks like they fell over. I did that, move that thing. That wasn't very smart. I smashed one of them. Oh, I hope I didn't smash them both. Either way, now the other one's fine. Smash that one there. The other one looks good. Either way, there are eggs in here. So they'll be able to make another queen with the eggs. Yes, we definitely have eggs, so we'll be in good shape, even if that has cell, clean cell does not work well. Yeah, we should be in good shape. This is gonna take them a while. I'll get in here in this box. Okay, I hope they hatch that clean out and they just get to work. And knock these out there again. They're all coming to the top. Now, we're going to put the queen excluder on top. They've been pretty feisty, but they haven't killed me. Fortunately, they haven't been as bad as I anticipated. Go ahead and put this. Uh, top on here. Shake them off one more time. So we got the hive put together. Let these bees go ahead and run up in there. And you see the bees going back to that hive. By the foragers, the field bees. They go in that brood, I'll get that queen hatched out and mated. The queen should be in with these bees. Uh, they say the younger bees, I think the nurse bees, are the ones that typically go with the swarm, which is opposite of what I thought originally. And uh, if she's in there, which she has to be pretty much, then she should just keep working and think she's swarmed. And they'll start building out that foundation right there. And uh, we should have the best of both worlds. And I will work with these bees in the new location and if they continue to be super mean, I'll have to replace her when queens are more readily available. So I've given them some time and I did make one adjustment. I got a bigger box. There's a full size 10 frame box here. Um, but I, as you can see, bees are still going into this box over here, which is what we want. Field bees going in there. There's a lot of bees still on this platform here, on this, on this board that's going up. Um, I have not seen the queen yet. She should be on this board or in the hive. I imagine she's on the board because they're staying clustered on the board. If you look under here, you can tell they're kind of wanting to cluster underneath. You pull it away and you can see, but they're still all the way up and down the entire length of that board, like a giant cluster. After a while, I'll shake whatever on this board in that box, put the frames in, take them and go. So we'll go from there. Kind of cool, kind of a fun bee adventure.
if you look at here, it just, lo just looks like, if you can imagine these bees hanging in a swarm on a tree or something, um, look at how many bees there are. Okay, you see there's bees already on the frames in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, look at that. They seem content, I'm sure the queen's in there. And this is the queen that has created these bees that have been almost unmanageable. So it'll be good to take her with these bees out of here and get them to a remote location. And uh, then let these bees hopefully hatch their own queen and just get back to work. Maybe they will be less aggressive. It's going to be a nice hive of bees if, assuming the queen is in there. Right, so I'm just going to take them and dump them in there. Just like that. Look at all those bees. Mm -hmm. It's hard to even imagine how many bees that is. A lot of them are coming out. Let me get some frames in there they can run up on. Gotta have some place to go. I don't know if you can hear them fanning. They're fanning like crazy, and here's the deal. I do have my suit on. I'm sure they'd be stinging me some. But their aggressiveness has greatly decreased. It snapped them into the swarm mode. And at least that's what I'm going to say happened. There they are. You look down here, they're fanning. A lot of them. And I'm going to put a lid on here. Just let them sit a while. Hopefully they'll run in. There's some on the side of the box over here too. Lots of bees. And this hive over here I think has a lot in there too. So this hive was right to swarm. Um, there was just too many bees in there. And we can get this mean queen and her uh, genetics out of here. Hopefully they'll hatch a nicer queen. Continue on with the tradition of building a strong hive and, and things will all be rectified. I'll get a nice split out of this as well. These bees are just acting, really it is acting just like a swarm. If you see over here, they're starting to march toward the smell. Look at them. These bees that were kind of stragglers over here. These bees are fanning to bring them home. And uh, it's kind of cool stuff. Let me just rake these bees off of here. And uh, we'll move the box back so they'll run to it. Starting to march towards the hive there, calling them home. Um, I need to put the lid on there because they're kind of boiling out of the top there. Hopefully I won't smash too many of them. Uh, one just got me on the leg. I'm basically kneeling in them, so that's not too smart. Okay, you can probably hear them. I see them marching. Some girls over here. Look at them fanning their wings down there. I don't know if you can tell, they're stopping fanning their wings. They're rolling right on in there. Yeah, they're getting a little feisty. Maybe the brush wasn't the best idea. Look at I'm marching. Isn't that cool? All right, they're pretty much in the box. It's starting to rain. Going to uh, close off the entrance. Get them out of here. Get them to their new home. Thanks for watching.